Okay. That's what it's going to look like. Now, I'm going to take some of these blocks, like the ones I'm sitting on here, and I'm going to put them in front of this as a retaining wall. More digging. So, we'll see how that goes. And I'm hoping we get enough sunlight here for the solar pump that I'm going to be using. And we might also have some type of tall plant life in front of this too to kind of cut that edge. It's not exactly perfect, but I'll tell you what, it, it's pretty darn close. And water is unforgiving. So for this to be perfect, you've got to come up about maybe a quarter of an inch across that I can live with so hey we're gonna go call this part of it finished for right now and then I'm gonna start bringing these blocks over and trying to get them level and dialed in here and it's up high enough the water won't come off of the hill into it and create it a muddy mess. I learned that years and years and years ago. We just about got our bamboo planter full. We're going to uh, look at this and do some more, a little more carving in here and get ready to put some of these blocks in this. We are going to leave a little bit of the blocks here. A row or two probably, but the rest of it will be filled in. Uh, we'll see how that works. Anyway, hope you're... Nope, don't say that. Anyway, I'm going to call this a day. This was about an hour here doing this. Yep, an hour. Total time is two hours to dig this out. A lot of clay. They skimmed the clay off and just piled it behind the house back here. Skimmed it off out front. So, we're going to look at this. So, we're going to call this part of it somewhat successful, and then we'll uh, bring you back for the next round. Okay. Give you a little update what's going on here. These two flower pots will be leaving. I have uh, new ones to replace those. They're not going back there though. So we do now have water in our stock tank here, which is now gonna be the fish pond. That one right up there in the middle of your screen is the old one that we're moving out of there. I'm using these blocks in front here. I thought it gives it a good look. Bamboo will go right here where the hammer is. It will be in a container, so it won't spread. And if it does, it will immediately be taken care of. So in front of the big rock there is all going to be plant life of some kind. And we're going to start working on that over the next couple of days. So I, I think it's coming along well. I'm going to have to get some more dirt. Um, I believe we're going to put, at the very least, an azalea in there. And I've got one that's getting smothered out, so I'm going to transplant it. It's supposed to be down below 80 for the next week to 10 days, so good time to plant. Cloudy, not a lot of sun. If there is sun, I will take measures to shade the plant. So that's about where we are right now. 
move over here. Down in here, this is all up in the air right now, but I'm thinking about putting a frog bog just to the left of the bamboo here, between the bamboo and our mermaid fountain. The mermaid fountain, I believe I'm going to move a little closer to the sidewalk. And the reason being is it's just not level there, so we need to get it level. And then we can buy a new pump and start using it. So it's, it's an old one. We've had this thing about, I'm going to guess, 15 years, this fountain. And it's showing its age, but I like it. All the plants on the other side of the sidewalk will be gone. Matter of fact, all of them along the top of this retaining wall will be gone with the exception of a couple for annuals. And we might have a couple down on the patio here and there also with annuals. But for this flower bed here, I think the transformation's coming along really great. Like I say, we're going to put some color up there. As soon as I know that this stock tank slash fish pond is not going to leak, I will start backfilling it. And again, I'm going to have to bring in more soil. Uh, a lot of this is clay, so I am getting real topsoil, not the sandy loam. I'm getting real topsoil. Dirt. That's what I want, dirt. Um, plants grow the best in dirt. The sandy loam is good for like your cactuses and stuff because it doesn't really hold the moisture like dirt does. So anyway, that's where we're at right now. So, hope you're enjoying this series. We will uh, bring you back next week for another episode. Hopefully we'll have some plants in here. Maybe even this uh, little retaining wall in front of the pond here finished. Alright, hope everyone's having a good day. Take care.